What's up, y'all? It is still October 30th, 2019, and I got a question for you guys. I know there are a lot of Eagle fans that watch this channel, so this question is for you guys. Did Howie Roseman reveal his true thoughts yesterday on this Philadelphia Eagles team? I'm going to ask you again, Eagle fans. Did Howie Roseman reveal his true thoughts on his team yesterday? By being silent. He was incredibly silent. Now, of course, you got the, the diehards and the damage control folks that'll be like, well, you know, the Jets, they were asking for too much. The Broncos were asking for too much, and we can't do that. And I'm happy with our roster. We're going to do just fine. Yeah, you got that crowd. And then you got the other crowd who are thinking, you know, he didn't pull the trigger. What is this real thoughts on us? You mean to tell me he couldn't give a second round pick to the Jets for Robbie Anderson? I mean, we wasted a pick on J.J. Ortega Whiteside. Why can't we get Robbie Anderson, who's a better receiver? Why can't we give up a second round pick for Chris Harris Jr.? Why can't we do that? I mean, he would be an instant upgrade. He's 30 years old, but he's better than any defensive back that we have right now. Why not give that up? You mean to tell me that you can't give up a second round pick for now? If you truly believe in us right now, you would have given up that pick. You would have done that. You would have pulled a Dallas Cowboys. They gave up a first for Amari Cooper, and he gave them instant life. You mean to tell me we couldn't give a second for Robbie Anderson? We couldn't give a second for Chris Harris Jr.? Are you really saying that? You got that crowd. And in my opinion, guys, this is my opinion. Howie Roseman firmly believes that this team has way too many holes to be a player away from making some real noise. He, he believes that. Because if he didn't believe that, he would have traded for at least Robbie Anderson yesterday. He would have done that. A second round pick, to be quite honest, I don't think a second round pick is too demanding for Robbie Anderson. He's only 26. He's 6'3", can run a 4'3", is an absolute burner. Almost had 1,000 yards. The thing is, he's been, uh, a couple of years ago, and he's been incredibly productive. For the role that he plays in the New York Jets offense, just imagine if he was in Philadelphia's offense. He could have over 1,000 yards a season. He's much, much faster than slow Alshon Jeffrey. He's better than J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. Anybody is better than Nelson Aguilar. If he firmly believed that he was a player away, he would have pulled the trigger. I'm telling you, you guys, Howie Roseman thinks there's way too many holes that need to be filled. He doesn't have complete confidence in this team. If he did, he would have pulled the trigger. Come on, Eagle fans. I know you're going to hate me for this, but be honest with yourself. Be honest. Be honest. You know, Jerry Jones, he knows that we have a real weakness at the safety position. And he was willing to give up a first rounder yesterday for Jamal Adams. But the Jets were like, no, nah, we want two. Some reports say they wanted a first and two second round picks. Other reports say they wanted two first round picks. Either one of those deals were way too much for Jamal Adams. But at least Jerry Jones was willing to stick his neck out and give them a first. Howie Roseman was like, a second round pick for a 26-year-old speedster, still young. Uh, no, nah, we, we got too many other problems. We can't deal with that. Something you Eagle fans need to ponder on. Now, of course, Eagle fans, they're riding a high. You know, they just beat the Bills. But it's the Bills. Come on. It's the Bills. It's the Bills. I mean, do you really have confidence against the, the Patriots, the Seahawks? Do you really have confidence going against the Cowboys a second time? After what happened the first time? Do you really have confidence in that? Now, I expect for the Eagles to beat the Bears, but I wouldn't be surprised. The Eagles are so inconsistent, they could lose that game. But I fully I expect for them to win because it's the Bears and Mitchell Trubisky is absolute trash. 
But I wouldn't be surprised if they eked out a win in Philadelphia because the Eagles are that inconsistent. And the Bears have just enough firepower on offense, and of course they have the defense to exploit the weaknesses that the Eagles have. Eagle fans, tell me what you guys think in the comment section because I know you're going to be blasting me. You got your keyboard out. Type in right now. I know you do. Follow your boy on Instagram, GerardJohn1991. That's J-A-R-R-O-D-J-O-H-N-1991. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.